Hey everyone, I'm excited to show off the advanced query loop. This is a new block that's going into Cadence Blocks Pro and uh, it's got a lot of pretty cool features. So we're gonna jump in. This example I've got here is just a grid of blog posts and these posts are all showing their image. And I have a filter at the top that's part of the new block that allows you to click through and um, quickly uh, see different categories. So I'm going to jump in and just show the back of this as, as we go through right now, if we open up the list view, you're going to see, we have this new query loop block. This is where you're setting the post type and some things about your query, as well as some styles. You can change that flip animation to do different things. Um, and you can also <clears throat> change some of the settings for like filter, um, colors and stuff like that. Now the filters themselves, this is another block inside of it. It also has some styling options, but there's some global ones you can set from the query loop. Then you've got a query card. This is what gets repeated for every blog post in your query or post in your query. Uh, and it's basically the template card. And then inside of that, we have an image overlay and then we've got a pagination block at the bottom. Now the image overlay is using dynamic content which we have um, improved a lot in this update. And it's pulling in all the stuff. And then you can also go into the query card and change that. So I've got a bunch of cards already made, but just to show you, we'll create a new one here. And in this, I can choose a couple different pre-built options or skip and start blank. And so in this case, we'll look at this as if it was more of a blog style. So you've got, categories coming in at the top dynamically images, uh, the title by the author and the publish date with the excerpt and a read more and all of that's dynamically done. And so you get these templates, you know, built right in. And so if we update this page, we'll jump in and see what that looks like on the front end. So you can see this is that same grid we were just working with, um, now with a more of a blog layout. Uh, and you can do different things. So the query loop can be set up where you've got a sidebar with different filter options. So in this case, I can um, use <clears throat> categories uh, or tags as a way to go through things, or I can search um, and quickly pull up search results. Um, you can order and you've got your quick and easy results tag here, and then even pagination at the bottom. So you've got a lot of posts. You can do all that and you do it without having to reload the whole page. It's just um, reloading this grid of queries and it's all indexed. So it's very fast and you get quick results. It also works with the products. So you can show off a grid of products. You can design these cards to be whatever you want them to be. In this case, I'm actually using blocks from ShopKit to show off my products. And then you have the ability to do categories, search all of the filters um, and that's all indexed as well. And so, um, I also did an example of staff and to show this I created some example staff here where I've got an image and this is just meta fields, a name, a position, a bio. And then <clears throat> I added a repeater field because I want to show how the repeater field can work inside of Keen's block. So repeater fields are a nice way to show data where you've got an unknown amount of data to show. So in this case, I'm pretending that, you know, you ask your staff for uh, two to five favorite things and they could say, this is my favorite book is this. And some person might do two and another person might do five. And what you want to be able to do is on the front end, loop through however many they gave you and output that. And in this case, I'm just outputting what their favorite is and a link that goes with it. So if we go back to viewing this site, here's what we did. We did a query loop and I'll show this from the backside <clears throat> where I've got um, the image for the staff person inside my cards. I've got a row layout here. And then inside this section, I'm pulling in the title, I'm pulling in the position custom field, I'm pulling in the bio custom field. And then under, I've got a header for favorites and then under favorites, we've got a repeater field. And the repeater field is grabbing those repeaters and repeating however many. So this staff has two, this one has four, 
and it's able to do that in a really clean look. So then you get this beautiful staff page that's all filled out with content. So that's the power of being able to work inside of these cards and then in a query loop is you can pull up and build whatever you want inside of the card. What's cool about these cards is you can access them all from your back end here. So they're all dynamic. You can update the cards here and it's going to update across the site. And then your queries can also are also built from the back end. So if you wanted to start a new one, you can go through and say, okay, you know, I want to do like the simple filters or maybe a sidebar one. We've got all of these templates already built. You choose your post type, you get started and <clears throat> you can then create your card or select from an existing card. So I can select the blog one and then it'll start pulling that all up and I can update and save this and then put this query into any post I want to or any place I want to. So it's a lot, a lot of settings when you dive in, but this is a quick overview and I'm excited to get it out. I know a lot of people are going to really, really love what they can do with all the different filters and the ability to control the queries uh, in a much more dynamic way. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.